everyone! My name is Amanda and today I have my August wrap-up and my September TBR. I know this video is about two days late, but I really hope that you aren't fed up on wrap-ups and TBRs and if you are, then I'm sorry, but here is my wrap-up and let's get going. So basically I have been in a reading slump this entire month or at least the last two weeks and I haven't really read that much. I only managed to read four books in August. It is according to plan with my Goodreads goal but I just haven't felt like reading and I would have liked to read more if you know what I mean. So the first book I read this month was Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and I will say I really enjoyed this book. It was really really interesting and unique and different. It is a fantasy slash paranormal book and it follows this girl called Karu. I don't really know how much I can tell you but Karu has some pretty interesting friends and they are quite special in terms of not being human, for instance. I must say I really liked the magic system in this book. It was really unique. I only wish that we would have gotten some more information about it, but hopefully we will learn more about it in the sequel. And I can't wait to read the sequel. I mean, I really enjoyed this book. So I gave this book four out of five stars and like I said, I can't wait to read the sequel. The next book I picked up this month was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins and I don't know really what I expected from this book. I feel like I am getting more and more into cutesy contemporaries and this is truly a cutesy contemporary. I mean, I really liked Anna. I felt like I could really relate to her at most times and she was just an overall really likable character. And then of course we have Saint Clair or Etienne. He is the perfect example that shows that flaws make a character come alive. He is not perfect, which of course made him pretty perfect. The thing that made this book a 4 stars and not a 5 stars is the usual problem I have with cutesy contemporaries. And that is that you pretty much know how they're going to end before the second page. Everything always works out in the end and it's not really any surprises. But the way there was really interesting and I guess that is what counts really. This book was a fresh breeze and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars like I said. So the next book I read was Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alaris Sons and this was the best book of the month. This book was completely amazing. One of my new all-time favorites. This book was this book was almost perfect. I do have a full review where I talk about why I love this book so much and if you're interested in maybe picking it up then you should definitely go watch that because I talk about why this is such an amazing read. And as you might see in that video I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. The last book I read this month was a Swedish book that we read for school and I really enjoyed it and it was a comedian growing up or in Swedish that would be in comic is fixed. This is written by Jonas Gadell, who is a comedian, and this is sort of an autobiography, sort of not. And I must say, I really enjoyed this book. It was such a hard book to read, if that makes sense. It follows a boy named Juha, which then represents Jonas when he was a kid and he is growing up in a little town outside Stockholm. It is basically a book about bullying and it is also a book about being alone and it's just a really horrible, horrible story actually. Joha is not a very likable character, he's a horrible character to be honest, but you can still relate to him because he does not do these things because he's a mean character, he does it because he just wants to fit in. There is one scene in this book that it was probably the worst scene I've ever read in my entire life and I felt physically ill. I didn't cry, it wasn't that it wasn't that it was a sad scene as much as a horrible, horrible scene. And it really shows how cruel children can be and oh it just makes me oh I feel sick just thinking about it. I really recommend this book though. It is a really good book and like I said I want you to read more of my Swedish authors. I will certainly read more books from this author and it has completely changed my view of him as a person. Moving on with my September TBR and like I say every month I can't believe that it's already September. I mean the time is just flying by. So I will be reading some books for school. I won't include them here though 
Maybe in my wrap up, but I don't know, they're not that interesting actually. To be honest, I haven't actually decided what books I will be reading in September. Like I said, I have been in a reading slump for a really, really long time and I really want to get out of it, but it's just so hard to break bad habits. I did just finish The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Moss, the prequels to Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight, and I will talk about it in my wrap up, but I read it this month, so. Yeah. Then I have some choices. I don't know what I'm going to read. I'm thinking about more than this by Patrick Ness because this is just supposed to be one of those mind-blowing books and I would like my mind to be blown. Yeah. But I'm really looking for something fast-paced and I don't think that this is actually it. But we shall see. Maybe sometimes during the month I will pick this book up. Though for sure I will be reading Tell the Wolves I'm Home by... Carol Rifka Brunt and I got this book from a friend I didn't get it but she lent it out to me because she really wanted me to read it and yeah I've, I've been thinking about reading it for a pretty long time and she said that it was one of the best books she's ever read so I I need to pick this book up basically I don't know what it's about but I'm sure it will be awesome and the last book I'm thinking about picking up this month is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo and this is a hype book and I hope it's fast-paced because I think this is what I'm going to be reading next and this is a fantasy book that's pretty much all I know about it. It is very hyped and I hope it lives up to that hype and I really want to get out of this reading slump. It's driving me crazy. So that was actually all I had for today. Like I said, I hope that you aren't fed up on wrap-ups and TBRs but if you watched to the end, then congratulations, well done, thank you, you're just the best of the best of the best. Have you read any of these books? Then I would love to know. What are your tips for getting out of a reading slump? What books should I pick up? I'm in serious need of help, so... I'm reaching out to you, my dear friends. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, because you know, that would help me out a lot. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see all of you lovely people in my next video, so stay tuned. Bye!